They went from full health to dead in like two beats. <laughs> All right, looks like, yeah, Spooty's setting up his stream here. Eventually, question mark? Hello, there it is. And I have to race severe later? Heck. <laughs> oh no. I don't want to do that. Just looking at all the race rooms. Yeah, welcome to Crystal. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was quite comfortable in Titanium. And just got launched forward. <laughs> Step two, oh no. <laughs> Yeah. It's about right. All right, racers are readying up. We'll get this underway. Countdown's on. This is a match of three, so we'll see three races. These crystal points will go quite far. All right, we're off. Can't lose if you don't enter. That's, yeah, big brain play. Face spear in 1-1. One, one. Both racers gonna grab it. There's also lock shop here. Oh, next, some barrels. Got decisions to make already. What are we gonna do? I think we gotta get the, uh... Okay, we're gonna get the dragon to stomp it open and then we can get the blood drum and open all those barrels. Bet you all didn't know we were farming in the crypts, but that's what we're doing here. Blood shop has ham, base cat, and gold broadsword, so terrible blood shop, but we can uh, get the blood drum at least. Siv's gonna go on the broadsword for easier barrel opens. Get a carrot and obsidian. Uh, armor along with a shovel. So those barrels were actually better than that blood shop, but both racers move along. Uh, Spooty's gonna switch to the base cat though for that move attack. On the one two, Siv finds a stack of bombs. Spooty will grab that as well. And there's another crack wall on one, two. It's a glass shop. Glass harp in it. We go in the full glass? Yeah. Yeah, I like it, Siv. Okay, so this either forces Spooty to follow suit or they're just gonna be hoping for a death. And yeah, Spooty's gonna go on the glass. There's a lock shop here as well. Dang, I, I imagine we would have wanted to check that first. It's not great. Gonna get ballet shoes in it. Well, I could transmute it. Yeah, Spooty's gonna do that. Get some glass slippers. Oh, not enough money for the torch of walls, though. That'd been real good. Gonna transmute it again. And uh, another glass weapon. I think we're gonna stay on the harp. And Siv's already done with 1 3. He's skipping down into this first boss. It's Fortissimo. Gets the flawless victory and check in purple. I'd imagine. No, oh, going black. More, earth, more glass. <laughs> you got the glass flail in there. And meanwhile, Spooty is taking a hit. Gone off that glass armor, a bit scary now. One hit of any type will be an instant death. Big dig for Sivir, as long or as well as a mystery ring here. Uh, we'll try to figure out what it is. It's not peace. It's not regen. Boots of pain. That goes well. Might as well grab him. Yeah. It's not gold. 
There's mana ring there. I don't know what this ring is. Charisma, maybe. I mean, it could be strength. Well, it doesn't matter. We're on mana. Civ down into 2 3. Spooty just behind in 2 2. Still rocking uh, this dino damage harp, though. With no no protection. Gonna get the luck charm. Sivia's into the zone 2 boss first. It's deep blues. Using the pain boots to get a quick kill there. And finds a shield spell. Mana shield. Pretty great. Like to get some health back so we can blood shield. And Spooty did not pick up that ring of mana, but we'll probably get this shield. Found a bomb spell along the way too. Shield's gonna help a little bit with this class build. There's your shield from Civ. Ring of mana will make it uh, recharge faster and it's longer too, isn't it? Careful, clap us! <laughs> oh, Civ getting double clapped. And gonna go down. Really needed uh, a blood shield there, but just didn't have the health. So Spooty's gonna find the nearest shop and kill the shopkeeper to get off his jaw. Or stay on it. Okay, dangerous. Big risk plays. I mean, it's nice to have the shopkeeper alive for the rest of the run, because slow play procedures just don't get hit, I guess. <laughs> just don't get hit. Looks like they're gonna charge up the shield spell before going into uh, the boss fight. There's Ring of Regen over there, Obsidian Rapier. All right, into that death metal fight. Let's check that Civ death. I'm gonna go around and get hit by some clappers. It's unfortunate. All right, Spooty into zone four. Ring of charisma in the purple chest. Still rocking that jaw though, so like, don't get hit. Use that shield spell. Making everyone sit on the edge of their seats. 4-1 shopkeep, we're gonna kill this one. And finally get off that jaw. Feels much safer. Meanwhile, Civ is back onto that glass build. And back into zone two. There's some chain mail for Spooty even. Starting to make this build a bit more comfortable. A lot more comfortable. <laughs> after what we started with. Yeah, Civ going full bore here. Back onto Boots of Pain in that ring of mana. Good shield for Spooty there, just taking that club and moving on through to floor three. And can pretty much play this safe. I mean, Civ's gonna do a salty run back here, which can be pretty quick with this build, but uh, needs to optimize their movements as best they can, because this is pretty commanding lead from Spooty. And here's the clappers that took Civ down last time. This time with the shield spell ready to go. It's the revenge. Earth kill for Spooty's boss there. Gonna find a trapdoor in 5-1. Bye, Freddy. Ain't got time for your ghost shenanigans. I'm on 5-2. And Civ that dino damage into zone four. One-shotting death metal. Ooh, gonna switch to a cat. That pain is pretty fun. Still dangerous <laughs> with the glass, but definitely fun. 
but Spooty's already on 5-3, ready to get into this Dead Ringer fight. Has Earth Tomes for a quick kill or Blood Drum. Dealer's Choice. Safety Shield there at the exit. Here's Dead Ringer. Civ made it back to 4-2. Looks like Spooty's going to miss an Earth there. Get one there. I guess that works. Wallace victory. Civ has broken their glass armor. Scary. And <laughs> jumps into a bomber goblin. Yep, that'll do it. And Spooty into phase two of the Necker Dancer. Down to a heart and a half after all those bombs and uh blood drums but Spooty famously says that if you don't finish with half a heart you're not optimizing your health usage so should really shield one more time <laughs> but gets the flawless victory or not well the victory 929 race time GG and yeah glass just uh, claiming Civ there Fast seed. Just a lot of clappers. All right, looks like they're gonna get right into the next one. Countdown's going. And we're off. Crack wall on 1-1. One, one. What do we got in there? Blood shop, perhaps? No, transmute. Okay, so we have enough for one transmute for Civ. Go shovel here. It's the battle shovel. It's not terrible. Spooty's going to farm up a little bit. Imagine get the same. And we're off into one, two. Some extra cheese for Civ, which Spooty just picked up. Block shop on one, two. That means there's going to be a bomb or stack of bombs somewhere on the level. Civ found the single bomb. We can check that shop anyway. Uh, floaties, magic cheese, glass cutlass. Not the greatest of shops. But Civ is going to kill for it using that single bomb and uh, the battle shovel. Going to get on that glass again. Spooty's going to miss out on that. I imagine they weren't impressed with that shop. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of that kill either. You're not gaining too much out of it. Especially if your uh, zone one black chest is like a good weapon. Now you just have a dead Freddy. There's a pulse spell on one three just in the chest. Looks like both racers found a stack of bombs as well. So we're just gonna grab our leprechaun friend here. All right, death metal, your zone one boss. Down at the same time should be uh, some pulses from Spooty. Civ can just hit with this glass and pulse. And what do we got here? Black chest has glass whip. So I guess Civ won on that. Last Cutlass, I guess, is better than a Glass Whip. I'm not a fan of either of them. But that's what you gotta do at uh, the top level here. You gotta take those gambles and now capitalize on them. Spooty doing an extra search in for that chest there. Finds uh, the shopkeeper familiar. Was hoping maybe for a weapon. But we'll take the shopkeeper familiar. Down to 2-2, two, two, just as Civ gets down to 2-3. Two, Finds the exit. Nothing really else to speak of. And into Core Riff, your zone 2 boss. Spooty about a floor behind. Digging the wrong way here. 
It's kind of uh, a little bit harder to screen watch when you're running glass. You need to uh, pay attention to what's around you at all times, especially with a glass whip. You're got to pay even more attention to like what what you're gonna snag on. Flawless victory for Civ on Coral Rift switches off to the Obsidian Longsword. Imagine Spooty will do the same. Yeah, look at this whip <laughs> snagging on the tentacles there. Civ in the three-two. Ooh, horizontal blue dragon at the exit there. Got to back off a little bit. And Spooty switching the Obsidian Longsword as well into Zone Three. Civ looking a bit lost on three-three. No torch or mapping to speak of, but finding their way eventually. That's going to give Spooty a bit of a sneak peek of what's going on on this level. As you see, yeah, they go straight to the left and up. And finds Magic Apple along the way. But we're done with Zone 3 for Civ into Deep Blues. Has some throwing stars to make this go quicker. Very nice. Pulse. It's the flawless victory. Spooty down into that fight. Purple Chess has a pulse tome, not what Civ was looking for, and that gives Spooty the opportunity to check the black chest for perhaps a faster weapon here. Gets the flawless victory. Blood Flail on 4 1, no thanks. Uh, Spooty just went, skipping the chests, trying to keep pace with Civ here as they're pushing on through at the 4 1 exit. Using them pulses real well. Gonna make that a little more efficient. Cost a bit of blood magic, but that's fine. As you can see, Spooty's taking out almost every enemy here, but finally does get that long pulse down to 4 2. Doing a bit of a catch up here. Civ taking a hit there. Diagonal armadillos are a thing. Black chest at the exit looks like a base cat. Mm, I think we stay on the long sword. Spooty does have that healing familiar along, which is nice. A double pulse there to take out the 4 2 exit. Civ kind of in a bounce trap situation here. Takes another hit down to a heart and a half. Finds a boots of strength along the way. Uh, the swarm's getting. A bit claustrophobic though. There's an arena with an obsidian rapier on 4 3. Also, grenade charms. Uh, looks like Spooty may have missed that, but has taken the lead into King Konga first. Save down to half a heart. Oh, there's such a swarm here at the exit. But does get into uh, the Konga fight. Spooty gonna uh, Azuma strat this. Got a bad teleport from Kanga though, but will complete the fight. Into zone five. Siv's gonna have to follow suit. A uh, bit of a better teleport here. Oh, missed the, the lunge there though. A bit scared on half heart, I'd imagine. And both racers into zone five. Spooty finding the exit right away. Siv doing a bit of a shortcut here, but has to deal with the same enemies, looks like. And we're down to 5-2. Civ just a few beats behind. Neither racer has mapping. Blood Rapier there. I mean, Civ could grab that. Infinite damage. And both racers find a trap door. Four hits for Civ on infinite. Using a pulse to beat the enemies there. And where is this exit? We're both going to find it. Careful in here, Civ. Told you to be careful. You got evil eyed. <laughs> and that's gonna be uh, it. Civs or uh, Spooty's gonna switch immediately to slow play. Check this shop. Look at this minimal build though. Battle shovel and a longsword. Hey, here's some heavy glass. We'll be into the Dead Ringer fight. Right side spawn, easy. Left side, scoop. Go, 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 go. And 
we'll have a nice calm Necker Dancer fight again for Spooty. Siv continuing their run as you should. It's not over until you head down those stairs. Three hits on the Necker Dancer, almost done here. There you have it, Spooty getting the second loot of this match and leaving it on the floor. <laughs> GG. All right, we'll get on to the last race of this match. Let's see if Siv can get one off Spooty here. Spooty trying to maintain that perfect record. Here we go. Purple chest on 1-1, one, one. it's a heal spell. What a safe seed this one is compared to the last two. <laughs> <laughs> I think both racers earned it. Doing some more exploring on 1-1. One, one. We're going to find an extra bomb so we can get a bloodshot kill. There's a tier 3 wall on 1-1. One, one. Who's gonna check it? Who's gonna bite? Neither of them are. All right, rip food shop. Rip the rare one one food shop. Sit with the heal buffer there to keep the beat. But we're both down into one two and here's your blood shop. Oh, next to a stack of bombs too. It's another terrible blood shop. Gold bow, uh, danger, potion, and then the infernal torch. Spooty's gonna kill for the blood drum, which I think, yeah, you need to do. I, I was surprised Siv didn't do that in the first place. Looks like there's an actual potion on 1-2 as well. Both racers gonna find that. And blood drum on through. Obsidian cat as well. Uh-oh. Time to go fast. And a magic drumstick. Well said it was a nice seed now it's just being like super generous imagine we'll spend the time here to get a uh, leprechaun yeah both razors getting away from spooty here uh yeah needs to blood drum that tier three wall to get the luck charm and we're both down to one three at the same time spooty just with a bit more health from that drumstick than civ is Siv checks the shop and buys it all. Obsidian Torch, Ear Muffins, and Ring of Protection. Meanwhile, Sp Spooty has gone through the level, found a trapdoor. Magic Ham for Siv! Okay. <laughs> a lot of health. <laughs> and where in the deep blues, your zone one boss. Spooty gets the kill. Checking purple chest for a ring and or spell. I guess not and. Um, and we're gonna find freeze tome. So Siv could check red here and does finds a even brighter torch Is that the second torch swap already? It's like both racers getting lost in 2-1 for a few beats But we'll eventually find their way Crack wall here on 1-2 one, two, on 2-1 two, It's a transmute you get a different shovel maybe a different headgear a ring of peace not bad. There's the shovel. Both racers are going to find it. And that 1-3 uh, shop helping Siv out quite a bit here just with that ability to transmute a uh, ring. Very fast 2-2. Two, two, just straight to the exit. It's like the same thing's going to happen here on 2-3. Spooty found a uh, Shrine of Darkness. So a bit of mapping on their side. Gonna blood drum that dragon down as their obsidian was low. And Siv into the zone, two boss, it's Kanga. 
We're gonna zoom a strat here. Looks like it. Oh, that extra wind spell. <laughs> Sip down into zone three first. Spooty's going to follow on the Zuma strat into zone three. Good exit and immediate trap door for Siv. So the map not going to help Spooty too much here in catching up. At least on those first two levels. It looks like Siv is getting a bit turned around here. Finds a Shriner. Doesn't look like we're going to grab anything in there. Along with the Blood Cutlass. Spooty on to 3-3. It's bottom left. Picks up an extra stack of bombs before heading towards the exit. This is a gigantic 3-3. <laughs> that teleport beetle away for Siv is very helpful, but uh, Spooty is going to take a slight lead in the core rip first. Both racers getting into phase two. Spooty going to uh, use the blood drum, Siv as well. Spooty going to check the chests here, wants to get off this ring, but finds something in the dark that was not ring shaped. <laughs> We're going to carry on into zone four. Both racers taking a similar route here. Siv finds an extra bomb, which they kind of need. They're at four bombs here instead of at Spooty's six. Spooty having to deal with Red Dragon, though, instead of green. That's the ring of peace. And we're on to 4-2 at about the same time. Both racers finding the same stuff. Going the same route here. Spooty found some obsidian armor, though. That's nice. Taking some hits though at the 4-2 uh, exit, but maintaining that lead just by about a room. A few more hits for Spooty. Still has that potion, so like, it's fine. Just go to that exit, and that's what he's doing. Watch out for that dragon. Taking a few Blade Master hits and then just going to Blood Drum the potion away to get that kill. Yeah, Obsidian's causing Spooty a few problems here. And we're into Death Metal at about the same time. Just as the music comes on, a such production value. Blood, kill, blood Drums for both racers into Zone 5. And uh, yeah, Spooty with the map. But uh, Siv with that torch is going to be able to find the shop really easy. This time, Siv has enough health to uh, keep pace with Spooty. However, Spooty down to two and a half hearts. Does not have that potion anymore. I mean, using that heal spell as much as we can on those stairs, and maybe if we get a, a heal during the floor. And Siv's gonna take a slight lead here into 5 3 first. Uh, the map's gonna be down. I. Spooty's gonna get it quite the better go ahead here using that shovel knowing exactly where the exit is where Siv went all the way around Spooty into dead ringer first Siv just behind both racers have enough bombs and the blood drum to make the next two fights go very fast but Spooty's gonna be into it first Siv just behind it's gonna come down the lures and with Spooty taking that shrine of darkness they're gonna have a much easier go at lures with less aggro. And they're gonna be into phase two first, getting that first easy hit. Missing the first lure though. And Siv back in the, well, we're about neck and neck here. Siv just needs good teleports here. They both need good teleports. So this is gonna be a race to the stairs. Siv missing that last teleport, oh no! I think Siv had that, but Spooty finishing it up. 734 in game 732 in game for civ 745 race time uh yeah it looks like spooty got that one by two seconds so that'll be reviewed as well i think civ could have had that though just missed that last lure ggs though yeah the times are different because of load times and um if one racer takes trapdoors and the other one doesn't, their time's gonna be longer because your timer continues to go up when you take trapdoors as opposed to stairs. Excellent set by both racers here. Fun to watch. 
speaking of fun things to watch, we have a few more races yet today. Got Chris versus Zello going on right now. Ochre versus Evtet. Ochre's up two to zero. I'll be racing Ochre in half an hour. And then a bunch more races yet today. Chris has a commentary later, three and a half hours from now. Arborelia versus Trevor Dactyl. Should be a 